going on everybody? Joel back with you for another video here on the Snap-on Tool Review. Today is Snap-on Wednesday. Uh, no Tyler, unfortunately. He is out for surgery for a couple of weeks. He'll be back in uh, closer to the end of the month. Um, but there are a few things that we can go over today. Uh, like I said, snap on Wednesday. So Wednesdays are usually generally just snap on related. So I figured, you know what, I would do a couple of things today. Um, first off, we have new merch. Uh, I know I mentioned this in the last video, um, but the merch store keeps on growing. Um, there are a couple of things to that as well. We do have the snap on merchandise store or the uh, snap on collectors merchandise store that's open. Now everything sold through that store 10% of it uh, at the end of the month is going to cancer research, uh, Canadian cancer research and American cancer research. So it's 5% and 5%. So it's going to a good cause. Shirts are relatively cheap. Um, I kept the cost low on the shirts, not what Teespring wanted to charge. So obviously Junkie and I are making a little bit less on it. And then on top of that, we are putting a certain portion of that toward cancer research. Uh, if you guys don't know already, uh, we had a uh, one of my moderators, Jake Shane, who passed away uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, so it's kind of one of those things to honor him. He had brain cancer, uh, as well as uh, one of our other moderators who has also been struggling from cancer on top of that. And uh, it's, a, it's a heartfelt thing for me because uh, my mother has also had been um, struggling with cancer. She is in remission right now. Uh, I'm happy to say that I haven't shared that with really anybody until today. So uh, there you go, guys. Um, but uh, so, yeah, uh, my mother is uh, is she's a fighter and uh, <clears throat> she has uh, made it through so far uh, clean and pretty much unscathed from from uh, the C word. So um, so like I said, guys, anything. Um, any of the sales from the collector's store, like I said, uh, a certain portion of that, of the proceeds, uh, are going to cancer research. So keep that in mind when you are making a purchase from the Snap-on collector's store. However, there is uh, my store as well, which is the Snap-on tool review store, and that one does have uh, some new products in it. I have put up a couple today. I will leave a couple of the products right here. I have the uh, Trust Me, I'm a Mechanic with the uh, on the front with the uh, the nice new snap-on tool review logo on the back as well as the inverted one just to like right now and that one is a black shirt with a white logo on the front and then it says cross thread is better than no thread <laughs> i love it uh, I, I say that all the time i don't cross thread stuff but it's just one of those things i like those mechanic sayings that everyone kind of you know everyone kind of takes on to it and all that kind of shit. So, um, uh, next thing, next thing, we do have uh, a mail call, which I thought was, this is really, really cool. I don't get this kind of stuff every day. So when I get a mail call, uh, I do really take this um, to heart and I love it. Um, I, like I said, guys, I have the coolest subscribers. Now this one came from uh, Randy, <clears throat> I'm not going to say his last name. Um, and he contacted me. He actually, he sent me some cash because um, he didn't have a PayPal and he wanted a green sticker. So that's getting sent out to you in the next day or so. Um, he sent me a nice little letter. I'm not going to read the letter because um, it is, it's, it's for me. Um, but, uh, but anyway, uh, he is a, uh, a deputy in, in Ohio. Um, and he's not a mechanic, uh, but he does wrench on the side. And uh, he sent me something that's really, really cool, you guys. Um, I'm gonna have to show you guys. It's really, really awesome. Uh, so aside from the letter, which was really cool, he sent me a deputy sheriff patch from Ohio. So that is cool as shit. Um, this, this thing is actually probably my favorite part of this letter. Uh, that means a lot to me. That's really, really cool. I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna to go to Ohio and I'm gonna start pulling people over. Thanks, Randy. Um, just giving them tickets for whatever, you know. Damn, baby, you look fine. Here's a ticket. Anyway, okay, so uh, on top of that, guys, he sent me his only Snap-on ratchet. He's had it for around 20 years. He also kind of wanted it dated. 
Um, there is no date date stamp on it. I'm gonna show you guys really close up here. So there is no date stamp on it, as I said. Um, it is a military issued quarter inch snap on ratchet. From the looks of it, Randy, um, it's definitely USA made and it's dated somewhere around the 50s to 60s era. Now I have a snap on ratchet from 57 with this exact logo on it. Um, you can date them somewhat uh, with the Snap-on logo, but uh, there is no exact year of this ratchet. Um, everything seems to be in perfect working order. I'm probably going to end up taking it apart and uh, just servicing it up a little bit, make sure there's no missing teeth or anything like that. Um, but this thing is cool as shit, and Randy, I have a spot for it in my toolbox, so we are going to put it into the toolbox right now. Let's do that right now. <coughs> All right, so guys, every time I get a Snap-on Ratchet, it doesn't really matter what year it is. Um, it is going into the Snap-on Ratchet drawer. So uh, I'm going to show you guys again. I've, I've done a video on this before, but I'm going to install it. I'm going to well, I'm going to cut out the foam and let you guys see how I do it again. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing's definitely going in the drawer. It's way too cool not to. So let's open up the drawer, show you guys exactly where I've got it, where I'm going to put it. Um, I'm thinking right up here just because it's the same length as this one right here. So I'm gonna put it up here and then this will finish off this entire row of my quarter inch stuff. And then I got space for one there and one there and maybe some in between here, but you know, that's for another day. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Um, I'm gonna shed some light on this situation here. So let's do that. Uh, okay, so we got that. What we do need, is a good sharpie. All right, let's put this a little bit over here now. You guys can still see, yep, we're good, okay. All right, so uh, I put it around, uh, obviously the other way around at first, and then I just kind of hold it in place and trace around it with a sharpie. Now, uh, the black sharpie does not show up very well on this dark gray material. Um, and if you guys are wondering what kind of material this is, it is uh, Connectomat. I got it from Walmart. You can get this from lots of different places. Um, but that is pretty much the outlet outline. You guys can see it there. It shows up way better in the camera, I tell you that much right now. <clears throat> All right, uh, small, thin razor blade. I'm gonna sharpen this thing up a little bit, make sure it's nice and sharp. This, if you're not uh, familiar with it, is work sharp. This is a portable knife sharpener. This thing is just badass, I love this thing. All right, just about ready. Let's cut this thing out. Now the mat is, uh, I guess, probably about half an inch thick. So I like to set my razor blade at roughly about a half an inch or so, and then just cut straight down. Uh, now I can't see it all. All right, there we go. Around the corners, you do have to kind of chop it a little bit. But you guys get the point. Should be pretty much clear to rip this stuff out. Let's see if this will fit in. Perfect. It's a little big around the corners, but uh, or around the around the handle. 
but it's all right. <clears throat> and we're just gonna cut out a little, a little section for the drive. And just grab a pick. And pick that little guy out. There's nothing too technical about this, guys, trust me. And we are home. Hell yeah, check that out, guys. Looks awesome, 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 awesome. All right, uh, one last thing. I just gotta cut out the little finger holes in that thing and it's good to go. Um, I probably will never use this ratchet. Uh, well, you never know, actually. Maybe someday I might use it. There might be a, some, some weird use for it. Uh, but that is really, really cool, uh, Randy. I have to thank you. If anyone ever wants to send me an old antique ratchet, by all means, I would gladly take it. Uh, believe me and we would make good use of it and make a good video out of it all right guys well I hope you enjoyed the video um, remember to check out the uh, the collector store and the snap-on tool review store the links are in the description and uh, and all that kind of stuff remember to check me out on Facebook Instagram and uh, the snap-on collectors page I'm always on there we're always having a good time talking about tools and all that kind of stuff one of my favorite things to do actually so and you guys probably already know that so anyway guys remember to comment like share subscribe and uh, peace out guys i will see you in the next one thank you